Hi everyone, I'm Jose and this is On Tour, exploring in the University of Albany, ready to discover the capital city. On this tour, we'll learn about New York's history and explore the beautiful downtown of the capital. Then we'll experience the natural side of Albany, which trails lead to the Erie Canal. So let's go on tour to the state capital of Albany, New York. The capital city of Albany, New York. A city around the oldest areas in the Empire State. Albany is one of the most important cities to visit when in upstate New York. Let's hit the road as we're welcomed to the capital region by the I Love New York sign. New York has everything you could imagine. That's why it makes it the legend that we've all come to know and love. New York State, the Empire State. I Love New York has become more than a slogan. It's an international brand. Driving to Albany showcases why we love the capital city. It has such a glamorous and futuristic look. The scenic entry only peels back a fraction of the gems. The capital district, it contains the city of Albany, a city that's 400 years old. So what do you do in such a classic city? Well, let's head to the state capital to explore some of its history. If you want to explore a beautiful mess, then let's get started with the New York State Capitol Building. Talk about exquisite. It's definitely a creative landmark. The State Capitol Building is a multitude of different art styles. Just look at this staircase. It has faces of politicians and who's who of New York engraved around the edges and that phenomenal ceiling. This building took 32 years to complete, seeing a variety of designers add their touch. Where one would leave off, another would pick up. And you can tell by entering rooms and seeing the transformation of styles. And this is one of my favorite rooms. Frescoes going through the history of New York and the wars the state has participated in. The building's unique situation gave it some of America's most beautiful decor, and it helped it survive through fires and structural damage. Today, it's a beautiful assembly hall for the representatives of the state. With a vintage elevator, it takes us below the Capitol, reminding us why we love New York. The underground portion of the Empire State Plaza connects to the buildings and museums above in a pathway that showcases all the amazing regions of the state. You can find restaurants, even a barbershop in the underground plaza. But our path leads us to the Erastus Corning Tower for that breathtaking view of Albany County. From here, we're able to see the Hudson River and connecting areas like Troy. But the thing that's most beautiful is that skyline of the Capital District. Albany County is most famous for containing the capital city. It's a historic area and one of the country's oldest established cities. Let's dive into the neighborhoods where it's been heavily influenced by British and Dutch architecture. Staying true to its age, we can find streets where the roads are made of cobblestone. Albany is a 200 year old capital 
making it within the 10 oldest capitals in the country. It has heavy roots with European and Native American settlers. The Native Americans and Dutch created a union of trade and community. In one of Albany's most historic districts is Washington Park, a park that has been pivotal to Albany's community gatherings. The park was once a burial ground for Albany's overcrowding, where the surrounding churches were at capacity from the growing population. I'm taking a breather. It's really warm today. At the heart of the park is the King's Memorial Fountain, dedicated to Rufus and Henry King. The fountain has a representation of Moses, reflecting on the holy passage where Moses' staff hit a rock in Mount Horab. And Moses stated, Thou shalt smite the rock, and there shall come water out of it, for the people may drink. Rufus King helped New York save money that would eventually flow to the people, and in turn comes the metaphor for the statue. We move to an important part of the state, the trail at the Hudson River Way. It gives us peace of mind to look back at the invention of New Yorkers. The locals used the river as a foundation to create one of America's most prosperous states. The Hudson is a 315 mile river starting in the Adirondacks and merging its path in the New York, New Jersey Bay. The natural area of Albany County, the starting point of the Erie Canal. The canal starts in Albany, passes through Rochester and Syracuse, and empties at the Buffalo area into the Niagara River. The infamous Erie Canal, the longest artificial waterway in North America, and the system that gave birth to cities. The Erie Canal was known as the mother of all cities, creating opportunities and growth to these small areas. It turned towns into metropolis from Albany to Buffalo. Looking at the size of these lock gates, you can only imagine the type of freight that would traverse the canal. I steadily walk away in awe of their beautiful construction as the gates begin to vibrate. And to our surprise, we see lock gate three slowly open and the canal's water levels lower. Since the 1990s, the canal has mostly seen recreational traffic, with fewer ships this size taking over its waters. In this area, you're more likely to see speedboats of county residents enjoying the canal trail. Throughout various points in New York, we'll come across these buoy boats, boats that were originally built to maintain the kerosene fuel and the buoys along the canal. The Erie Canal spread across America, creating large-scale agricultural and commercial development. It expanded to the west and gave birth to trade in places like Ohio, Michigan, and Indiana. Let's take a look at the top of the canal as the water refills between the gates. The Erie Canal became the heartbeat of New York's industrial growth connecting the eastern and western parts of the state, from the Great Lakes through the Hudson River down to New York City and into the Atlantic Ocean, the spider web routes became a monumental design for expanding trade. As we continue touring the county, we see the canal trails and their lock gates. The Hudson River connects from Waterford to the Mohawk River. Waterford is the birthplace of the canal in Albany County. Mohawk River is a tributary of the Hudson River, quite possibly the largest for the Hudson. It's had many important roles in American history and became a passage to the Appalachian Mountains. One of the many views at the Lock Gate 6 State Park From the Mohawk River, we travel to a connecting piece, the Cohoes Waterfalls. 
Cohoes Falls between the town of Cohoes and Waterford is similar to Niagara Falls, two great falls that provide electric energy for New York State. The Cohoes is a thousand foot wide waterfall that powered the local textile industry. Just like the waterfalls in the center of Rochester helped that city expand their flower industry, Cohoes became the largest manufacturer of cotton in America, mainly due to their waterfalls. Let's walk across the bridge to get a better view of the falls and enjoy another powerful body of water that brought life to New York's Industrial Revolution. Writing this script, I think about the Erie Canal. I mean, it's a major part of the cities we visited. It really is the heartbeat of New York State. Let's head back to the Empire State Plaza as the evening begins to wind down so we can get a final tour of the New York State Museum and the monuments in the plaza. At the New York Museum, we go through the history of the state. As someone who grew up in New York City, it fascinates me to see the different eras of the Empire State. Let's go through the history of New York State, starting with New York City and its iconic yellow taxi cab. The taxi cab was incorporated in 1912 and quickly became a symbol of the big city. But the moment that forever impacted New Yorkers was 9-11 across the country. There was a pause and deep shock, silence, as we witnessed the Empire State go through one of the most tragic moments in American history. New Yorkers from all over the state descended to the Big Apple. Firefighters, police officers, and all forms of servicemen gave their lives to save a city. And what remains are the memories and debris from the tragedy as New Yorkers remain strong. New York State is a monument with such a deep history, and the museum presents another icon with the New York subway. Grand Central is one of the most recognizable terminals in the world. But what is a museum without the people of New York? And this diorama showcases the immigrants and neighborhoods of early New York. So many nationalities who migrated to America lived this same scenario. And let's not forget the original people who inhabited these lands, who created a platform to establish a state. Albany showcases everything there is to know about New York. In this capital, we get more than a tour. We get history, we get art and architecture, but a sense that we're in the land of a king. New York State and its many areas live up to the legend that pursue it. The capital feels like its own entity in the pages of New York, a book we've only begun to explore. Becoming the opening piece to its success with the connection of the Erie Canal and Hudson, creating a titan to the American industrial story. So walk with me one last time across the plaza to get a last look at Albany and the Capital District.
I couldn't end this tour without taking a walk across the plaza. If we're in the land of a king, then this is a castle. Look at that distinctive architecture and the endless pool from the New York State Capitol building to the New York Museum. It's just stunning. And have you seen anything like the egg? It certainly takes a crown as one of the most unique performing arts venue I've ever come across. It's definitely left me feeling like a tourist. This plaza has become a photographer's dream where the night fills up with wedding shoots, taking in the beautiful set piece that is the New York State Capitol District. done this one in a while but when in the city it's always pizza especially in New York I said it before love pizza the capital city of Albany New York a city designed to feed the Empire State where the Erie Canal brought the territories closer together the capital created its own foundation as the big brother to a grown state a city that sits atop of an empire this is Jose for on tour if you like what you see in a day, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and share. If you'd like to know more about the places I've been to, please see the links below. Until next time.